We live in a very challenging time when most people are sleep deprived and under severe stress and therefore many search for different ways to boost their energy. Especially in the recent years, a lot of people have been searching and taking different supplements, vitamins, nootropics and so on that could improve their energy throughout the day. Now I have decided to conduct a very detailed research and find the most effective and the best supplements that have scientifically proven effects and benefits on improving your energy. So which are the best supplements on the market? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of your inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. A lot of people have been asking me recently, hey Greg, how can I increase my energy? You know, how can I have more energy throughout the day? How can I wake up in the morning and you know get this immediately energy boost? Is caffeine the best way to do that? Or are there any other alternatives? Now, you know, a lot of people, what they do, they drink coffee. I also drink coffee now and then. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, that's not the only way how you can boost your energy. Some are people take a power nap during the day. Some are people, again, they try to improve their sleep. And all those things are very good, very effective. I have nothing against them. Even, you know, I personally take a power nap now and then. But again, what I want to do in this video, I'm going to share with you the best supplements that can not only boost your energy in the short term, but also provide long term benefits. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you the most effective supplements and nootropic stacks for boosting your energy. Oh, and just before I share with you all those supplements, I want to tell you what else can you expect from taking those supplements. So of course, first thing is improving your energy. Second thing is, is improving your cognition. So if you take certain supplements, your focus can improve, your attention can improve, your memory can improve, you can become more productive. And you know, all those supplements can provide all those benefits that we just mentioned. And you know, many of those supplements that we're gonna mention in this video provide all those benefits. Another thing is better athletic performance. So certain supplements can improve your athletic performance can allow you to uh, run faster, work harder, you know, and they're very, very beneficial. So not only that your cognition improves, but also your performance, so your physical performance can also improve. Some supplements can also improve your mitochondrial function. So I'm sure you heard about mitochondria before, I don't wanna go into this right now, but keep in mind, certain supplements can actually influence the performance of mitochondria in your body, in your cells. And why is this so important is because you actually hit or actually target, you know, the main energy source of your body. I mean, this is so important and there's a lot of research going on. A lot of supplements are coming on the market that provide such benefits, so keep this in mind. And last but not least, a lot of supplements that we're gonna talk about can also reduce your stress levels. Actually, some adaptogen herbs that we're gonna talk about, they first decrease your stress levels and consequently your energy levels improve. So um, this is very, very beneficial again, not only to have a lot of energy, but also to work in a relaxed state of mind, not being under severe stress. This is very, very crucial. So having said this, let's check out the main supplements. Firstly, I wanna start with ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a herb used in the traditional medicine for centuries and it is a very known adaptogen herb actually. So it provides a whole range of benefits. Among all other benefits, the main one important for you guys is that it can increase power output. That's why it's so popular and you can find it in many supplements and many nootropic stacks for improving your energy. Now the recommended daily dosage is between 300 to 500 milligrams per day. And that's about it. Now, if you want to read more about ashwagandha or any other supplement that we're going to cover in this video, you're going to find all the links below. So don't worry, you can read everything about the supplements. You can order them, whatever. If you have any questions, guys, also don't hesitate to contact me. All right, let's move on. The second one is Rhodiola rosea. Rhodiola rosea is also an adaptogen herb, a very, very popular herb uh, that is known to be able to decrease our stress levels. And by decreasing our stress, the consequence is more energy. Rhodiola rosea is a very, very effective herb and is very popular. You can find it in many entropic stacks again. Now, the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 50 milligrams to 700 milligrams per day but most nootropic stacks and most supplements contain around 50 milligrams per day. That's kind of at the standard. 
Again, if you want to read more about rhodiola, check it out below. The next one is caffeine and L-theanine. Now, I have caffeine here, I have a coffee, bulletproof coffee actually, and my favorite type of coffee I always make before um, shooting such videos. And you know, caffeine is the most widely used stimulant on the market. It's very popular and I think I cannot even imagine how 50% of all people in the world would live without drinking coffee. Now, why do I mention L-theanine? Now, L-theanine is an amino acid that you can get usually in a green tea, for example. It's a very popular amino acid again. But why does those two um, compounds go together? Like, what's the real secret behind them? Now, if you combine 100 milligrams of caffeine with around 200 milligrams of L-theanine, What's gonna happen is you're gonna have a lot of energy, you're gonna get a typical energy boost that usually coffee provides, but you're gonna avoid the typical um, caffeine crash that follows after a couple of hours of drinking coffee. So, because you know, when you drink coffee, you get this boost and then the crash happens, but with adding uh, L-theanine to this mix, that's not gonna happen. And also, you'll be a bit more relaxed and you'll be able to work a bit longer. So this is a very great mix. You can buy it already in a, in a special supplement. Links are gonna be provided below and it's very, very effective. The next one is vitamin B12. So obviously vitamin B12 is not known to be an energy booster, right? I mean, did you hear anyone talking about, you know, I take those vitamin B12 capsule just to get some more energy? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But why is vitamin B12 so important besides all other functions that it has in our body is because it plays a very important role in the process of transforming our food to energy. And if you know the fact that most people, especially in the United States, are vitamin B12 deficient, especially all the you know riskier groups such as vegans, elderly people, and so on, then you can imagine that a lot of people suffer, you know, because they do not get enough vitamin B12 per day. Now, personally, I do recommend supplementing it it's very beneficial. Now, what I found out is that most experts kind of recommend supplementing somewhere between 250 to 500 micrograms per day. This is kind of what the sweet spot. Is this how it should be? Should you take it more or not? I mean, do consult your doctor before supplementing it, but this is kind of what the sweet spot and you're gonna, you know, most supplements contain somewhere around uh, this dose of vitamin B12. By the way, guys, I almost forgot. Uh, do you drink coffee? Let me know in the comment section below. That would be really good to know. The next supplement that we're gonna talk about is coenzyme Q10, a very popular compound in the recent years. You can find in many supplements, in many nootropic stacks. And why is this so interesting is because, first of all, it is naturally made in our body. So this is a very natural compound that our body makes by itself. Uh, so this is very important to know. Now, what's the real role of coenzyme Q10? Well, one important role is that our cells use coenzyme Q10 to make energy. Now, there have been studies done that whenever people lack coenzyme Q10, they have less energy and they feel more fatigue. And supplementing coenzyme Q10 has been shown very effective, so that's why I also recommend it. Now, the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 30 to 90 milligrams per day, and you can take this up to three times per day. All right, the next supplement we're gonna talk about is PQQ. Now, the whole name, I sorry guys, but I just cannot pronounce it, it's so challenging, but the whole name you can, it's written below, but if you're in this industry, if you know a little bit about supplements, then you probably heard about PQQ before. And by the way, guys, most people just use the short version. Now, PQQ is actually a nootropic, a very popular nootropic in the recent years uh, that you can also find in many nootropic stacks. And why is it so important for us is because it plays an important role in the production of mitochondria. Now we talked about the mitochondria before, we know how important they are for the you know, energy in, that comes from our body. Um, and you know, PQQ supplementing it can actually increase the production of mitochondria. And the cool thing is that PQQ works very well with coenzyme Q10. That's why you're gonna find both supplements usually together in a nootropic stack. Now, the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 2 to 40 milligrams per day. Cool, let's continue with the next one, ginseng. Especially Panax ginseng is another adaptogen herb like Rhodiola rosea we mentioned before that is very popular because it can boost our energy levels, it can decrease our stress levels, and it has a whole variety of other benefits. Now, one thing that I have to mention is that current studies on the effectiveness of Panax ginseng or ginseng uh, on improving our energy levels are, show very mixed results, okay? 
But what has been proved and what has been shown is that supplementing ginseng can actually decrease our stress. So that's why it is very, very beneficial for us to take or to supplement it. Now the recommend daily dosage is somewhere between 200 to 400 milligrams taken up to two times per day. By the way, guys, I have revealed seven special secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you about. To get them, download my free handbook below. All right, guys, let's continue with creatine. Now creatine is one of the most, if not the most research supplement uh, on the market. I mean, there, there have been so many studies that it is just amazing. And if you're a big fan of going to the gym, I'm sure you heard about creatine before. And if you didn't, you know, keep in mind that at least, let's say 30 to 50% of people in the gym around you probably supplement it. Now, why is creatine so interesting? It is because it acts as a source of energy in our body. Creatine is very effective when we need a lot of energy in a very short period, especially during a very advanced or challenging mental or physical activity. That's why a lot of people take it before going to the gym, for example, or doing any kind of hard training. Now, there are different ways of how you can supplement creatine. Now, my favorite is taking three to five milligrams per day, every single day. But, and of course, it has to be taken in a longer period. That's what's recommended. Cool, another one is Huperzin A. Huperzin A has been you know, increasing in its popularity in recent years, a very uh, effective and very popular nootropic that can be found in uh, several nootropic stacks on the market. And Huperzin A is so interesting because it can mainly increase our mental energy. So what does it really do? Well, it actually decreases our tiredness and usually in fact comes that, you know, we have more energy, we feel better in a better mood also. And of course, Huperzin A can provide a whole bunch of other benefits such as improved memory, cognition, and even alertness. The recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 30 to 100 micrograms per day. All right, let's continue with lion's mane mushroom. Lion's mane mushroom is a very, very popular mushroom a very strong and effective cognitive enhancer that you can really not miss nowadays. You can find it in so many nootropic stacks. It's, it's really an amazing supplement. Now, this is one of the most effective brain stimulants that has been shown or actually it is known as a very effective natural energy booster. Now, the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 500 to 1000 milligrams per day, taking up to three times per day but most nootropic stacks contain somewhere between 250 to 500 milligrams. All right, guys, those were 10 most effective, very interesting, very potent supplements that can boost your energy. Now, there are some others that you should also keep in mind. There is Jerba Mate tea, a very effective tea uh, that has this special taste and a lot of caffeine that can instantly boost your energy, provide a whole range of other benefits. It's a very potent antioxidant and I recommend it combining it with, you know, drinking coffee in the morning and then drinking Jerba Mate tea in the afternoon. Again, as with all other supplements that we mentioned, you can find all the additional information below. Then we have taurine. Taurine is, a, is a, another stimulant basically that you can find in many energy drinks. Um, this one has a lot of potential side effects so you should be really careful before supplementing it. Then we have some amino acids such as alcar, such as citrulline and tyrosine. Now, again, all additional information about those amino acids that can provide not just physical but also mental energy can be found below. Now, we should also mention beetroot, which is a food that people often eat because it is believed that it can increase our energy. And last but not least, there is a arlipoic acid, which is another nootropic that provides a whole range of benefits, but it can also play an important role in increasing the energy in our body. All right, guys, we just covered 17, listen to that, 17 very, very effective nootropic supplements amino acids, herbs, and so on that can improve your energy levels. And now what I wanna do is, as I promised you at the beginning of this video, I wanna share with you the most effective nootropic stacks or supplement stacks, so stacks that have combined all those compounds together that can uh, increase your energy. Now, first of all, I wanna mention Performance Lab Energy. Obviously, as the name uh, says, you know, this supplement was designed to improve your energy. Now, keep in mind that Performance Lab Energy does not provide a short-term benefit. There is no special energy kick, or at least not a strong one, that you're gonna feel when you, you know, supplement or you take a couple of capsules of Performance Lab Energy. 
Now what's gonna happen, of course, it's, it's gonna provide a whole range of uh, benefits, especially, you know, it's gonna provide a, an energy that's gonna come in the long term, you know? Um, because what does it do? It targets your mitochondria in your body. So it really goes to the foundation of the energy in our body, and that's how it ensures we're gonna have a lot of energy in the long term. Now, another interesting nootropic study that I want to mention is called Qualia Mind. Now, Qualia Mind was originally designed to help you improve your cognition, to make you more productive, to improve your memory, and so on. And of course, one of the things that Qualia Mind does, it also increases your energy. It contains uh, caffeine, it contains theanine, it contains many other supplements that we just mentioned. And, you know, Qualia Mind is definitely one of the most effective, if not the most effective, nootropics tech on the market. Now, are there any other supplements? Of course there are. So what I've prepared for you guys, there's a special link below with, you know, uh, all additional information about the supplements, the best nootropics stacks on the market for improving your energy. I'm constantly updating this list. So, you know, check it out. You're gonna have all additional information. There also about, you know, the individual compounds that we mentioned before in this video. Cool guys, thank you for watching this video. And, you know, thank you uh, for staying so long with me because this has been a bit longer video. I usually make a bit shorter videos, but you know, I really wanted to share all those additional uh, information with you. Don't forget subscribing on my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, I hope to see you soon, guys.